Hello guys, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial. So this time I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, your application click on a button on a website. So this can be used to make uh, like bots or dislike bots. Uh, by the way, I'm not encouraging you to use bots for anything really. But I'm just going to show you for educational purposes how to do it. So. I'm not responsible for anything. So what I already did was I opened a form and put a web browser in it uh, called Web Browser 1. So you may see that uh, your web browser is like this and it covers the whole form. Just click this little arrow and say undock. And then you can freely move and scale to your will. And then we have a little button here that says click like. So if we go to the code, uh, this is the form load section. So when the form loads, it's going to go to this web page. You can also modify it to um, make it so if you click a button, it's going to the web page that is entered in a text box. But just for time purposes, I'm going to say that this is the website we're going to use. Um, before I go into this piece of code here, uh, which is the button click code. I'm going to show you uh, what exactly to do in your uh, Google Chrome. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Google Chrome with Internet Explorer and Firefox. This is different, but I think it's the most easy thing in Google Chrome. By the way, who uses Internet Explorer these days? Uh, so you just, so you don't see this. Um, this is the like button. If you go to inspect element, so this is Dutch, I know, but I'm going to translate it. So this is inspect element. If you click on that, you're going to see this little window pop up or it's going to pop up somewhere else. And uh, it's a bunch of HTML code. If you don't understand it, it's, it's not that bad. Um, all you need to do is find the button. And as you can see, if I go with my mouse cursor, over the button you can see that the like button here is uh, becoming blue so and highlighted so what you need to do is get the idea so the idea is watch like so uh, what I did is I was going to uh, my visual basic and I put it as a comment so how you place comments is you just type this and then it turns green and you can type in whatever you like and the computer will just ignore it so okay now um, in the button one dot click section you're going to say dim elements as HTML element collection so make sure you spell this right because otherwise it's not going to work uh, is equal to web browser one dot document dot all so it's just going to say this web page is the document and just take all of it and put it in a collection of HTML elements. Then you got my comment here. Then you put a for each statement. So for each, then web page element as HTML element in elements. So this is a mouthful, but um, yeah. And then you just press enter, the next will appear automatically. And then in this for each statement, you put an if statement and you say if the web page element dot get attribute and then idea because we need this ID, which is watch like, is equal to watch like, then and only then you're going to say web page element dot invoke member dot click. Uh, not dot click but just uh, click and then end if so what this basically does if it searches for all the elements in the HTML elements collection of the document then for each element it's going to check if the idea is watch like if it's not it's not going to do anything if it is it's going to do uh, web page element dot invoke member 
click so it's going to click on it and that's also if we go and debug it you can see my video here you can see the like button <clears throat> if we say click like it's going to say that I like it but I need to log in because I mean this web browser doesn't know that I'm logged in but anyway this is your tutorial um, if you like this video and like my channel please subscribe to my channel or like the video if you like it uh, and I see you again next week bye